It's finally here! Shadowverse Evolve Set 2 Reign of Bahamut. I am incredibly stoked for this set. This set introduces some of my absolute favorite characters in Shadowverse and Psy Games to Shadowverse Evolve. We've got like Albert, Daria, and of course Dark Angel Olivia, as well as ya boy Bahamut. So, in today's video, we're gonna open up four. Let's say four of these boxes, about a quarter of a case. And then in another video, we're gonna open up another four boxes and then go over the entire pulls for the case. So if you like Shadowverse Evolve, stick around for some sweet pack opening. And then we're gonna do some deck techs and some gameplay after I open up all my cases, get all the cards that I need to build all the decks because I will be building at least one deck of every single craft because I absolutely love this game. Hey, maybe like the video, maybe subscribe, maybe check out the merch store. I got a bunch of anime play mats and all that kind of good stuff, but let's just do it. Shadowverse Evolve. As promised, we have four Reign of Bahamut booster boxes. Man, this game is so much fun to open and it is like kind of the breath of fresh air after opening a bunch of other games that I play and then opening Shadowverse, having like, well, we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it as we go because this is going to be fairly long because we're going to be opening up four boxes. So we're going to have a lot to talk about. I do want to shout out this playmat, which is my very first playmat with artist Honchu, one of my absolute favorite artists. She's a great friend of mine. And we have our updated version of this playmat available on the Red Zone Rogue online store if you would like to purchase one of them. They're beautiful. And it has uh, our brand new card back. The The signature is not on the in the actual playmat, though. Anyway, so let's open this up. I had to at least shill my own thing <laughs> at least once here. I mean, we don't have a sponsor for this video, so we got to try. We got to at least we got to at least try to make some dividends here. Um, so I have I will say I have opened up half of this case already. So I bought about a full sealed case. I have opened up half the case already and I saved the other half to open for these videos. Um, each box of the first printing does come with a little tiny pack of sleeves. I do believe this is only 10 sleeves. So it's it's good for your like, um, it might be even less than that. Basically it's good for your uh, Evo deck. Um, or if you have enough of them, you can just make an entire uh, make an entire deck with, with the sleeves. There's only two different types of sleeves, which are the two different leaders. This one is the forest craft leader. I would like to get the, um, I would like to get the other one. The, uh, her, her, is her name like Prim? She's the Swordcraft one, right? If you know me, watch my videos, you know I like sword. I would like the Swordcraft leader. And so what I'm gonna do so I don't have a, a massive, massive mess at the end is I'm just gonna break these down as we go. Um, also, check it out. Oh, I just, it fills my heart with warmth. These are like some of my absolute favorite characters um, or just cards. So we have like Seraph, we have Daria, Albert, um, Vania, this is Dragoon, and then uh, Tia. Yeah, love it. So the way I break down the boxes, I just kind of fold them like this. So they're just kind of a little bit, a little flat. So I can just toss them in, toss them into the box and we can crack, cracketh some packeth. Um, yeah. Let me know, by the way, if you have been opening some um, Reign of Bahamut, what your best pulls are. Um, I haven't really gotten many of the SLs, honestly. So we'll see if we get some here. Um, and we'll talk about some of the cards as we go, and I will be sorting these over here just by gold and, and stuff. I actually like this card a lot. I don't see a lot of people playing it, and I'm not sure if it will see a lot of play. Ooh, this one will though. This is Alexander, one of the really nice cards for Swordcraft. He's like a board board wipe boy. We have a Chateau Witch. Ooh, another really, really good one with uh, Kawi. This is a fantastic Abysscraft card. And then we have Dragon Tamer, and then... Uh, Good old forest bat token. Yeah, so each pack, if, if you're not familiar with uh, Shadowverse Evolve, this is, if this is your first time watching, first of all, hey, how's it going? Shadowverse Evolve, absolutely great game. Uh, but also uh, there's gonna be at least one gold per pack. And then sometimes you'll get up to two legendaries and a gold. Um, and then you can also get uh, parallel foil versions of cards. Uh, Avant Blader is incredible. So I'd love to get parallel foil versions of that. Whole Sold Swing is an interesting card. We have a lot to get through, so we're not gonna uh, dwell too much. This card is a staple, Surefire Bullet. Uh, a lot of people are gonna be playing that, so getting a bunch of those is gonna be great. And then here we have the Hellflame Dragon. I think the Flute 
The Dragon Flute is the one that makes that card. Which is funny because I think Zernitra in Digital made that. But um, she doesn't. She makes five fives in this one. So we've got a Gargoyle, a little Dwarf for a Perfumer, a Emerald Maiden. I don't recall this card being in Digital. I don't remember this art, but it looks great. So yeah. Ooh, Parallel Foil White Paladin. I really like this card. I've actually played this in Digital, and I think it might be better in this version. I'm not sure if people really run her all that much, but I think she's great. Uh, Urius, I think, is not good in this version. Ooh, Leonidas, I think, is very, very good. This is a staple card in Swordcraft. It's a card that people play around. It's, it's what I would call like a meta warping card. Pretty good pulls so far. We're just gonna be stacking everything up here. So we have our gold pile, we have our legendary pile, and then we have just the parallel pile. Uh, parallel, parallel legendaries will go uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'll, I'll figure it out. Ooh. Ooh, speaking of parallel legendaries, I think we got one here. So we have a Avant Blader, Marina, Craig. Oh, let's go, Bahamut. Um, big boy Bahamut. So this is the evolved version. Really, really cool. I'm I'm just going to put the Evo alternates in their own, uh, or in the same pile. Uh, I love the art in this card. I think it's adorable. Multi-part experiment. She's super cute. I really like this card. Um, speaking of super cute, we have Elf Girl Liza, and then we have your Dragon Tamer, which I think is, is you'd call that a playable, goes into decks. Um, does anyone play, so I've only been playing like Constructed, can you play this game limited? Like is there like a take two or draft or, you know, variant of this? I actually don't know. Uh, decent card, you can play that one. Archery, we have a uh, Geno. Uh, beautiful, beautiful Neptune. Yo, let's go. We got my boy, Leonidas Evo. Definitely need the Evo versions. Um, that's the whole point. Leonidas, basically you um, Evo him. He basically, he can kill like one or two things on your opponent's board. But what you really want is the awesome uh, aura or uh, amulet that he leaves behind. Dance of Death. That's why a lot of uh, decks will run like Amulet Destruction, just so you can't just destroy them with your Leonidas Amulet. We have a Tribunal, beautiful, beautiful card. A Sector and Demonic Weapon. I'll, I'll point out the Amulet when we get it. Um, it's just a token, so we'll get, we'll get it for sure. We got we got four boxes to get through. Uh, let's see, Dragon Tamer, a Samurai. We have a Mini Soul Devil. It's a Decently playable card. This one's great in the um, discard dragon, I like a just straight up staple. I think uh, Vite is actually quite good as well. We have Polyphonic Roar, not as good as the digital version, and then Evo Siegfried, which is good. And then Ghost. Hey, for my patrons this month, for the month of October, I do have uh, alternate art ghost tokens. You can use them as spirit tokens for magic or ghost tokens for um, Shadowverse, which is great. I wanted to make it kind of vague so people can, you know, put it in whatever kind of, you know, game they're playing or use it for whatever game they're playing. So multi-part experiment, beautiful. Siegfried, I dig it. We have Greya. I don't know if the if the Greya um, and Anne deck is any good, but I don't know, I like them. Uh, we have Lily, which is also fantastic. The Lily is one of the like the the good cards to come out of Forest for this uh, for this set. Forest didn't really get a ton of like meta-defining cards, but they got a couple. Um, not a ton. We have uh, Unicorn Dancer. This does make it into some lists. Uh, Kaiza, not as good. Does not do does not do the carrot anymore. We have Anne Bell of Mysteria, which is beautiful. I really love this character. She, uh, I sometimes use her as a, a leader in digital. I also like using Carol from Princess Connect, by the way. Uh, I even have like a Carol Carol figure in, in my studio. You can't see her in the background because she's in a different one. But anyway, we have a uh, Gunner Maid, Bone Chimera, Witch Bolt. Ooh, got your boy, Imperial Dragoon. Most of the discard decks that run Dragoon only run like one or two of them, but he's pretty sweet. He just kind of like wipes the board, punches your opponent for a lot, and then you Evo him and you draw three cards. It's pretty good. You have Call of Kukaitis. Um, uh, Elf Knight Cynthia, beautiful, beautiful card. And then we have uh, Evo Avant Blader, and then Knight. I'll take, like I said, any like parallel foil Avant Bladers, gimme please. I think, I don't need, I don't think I need a, I need a full play set, 
probably like one or two Evos, and then maybe, I don't know if I'm near the full playset of the, ooh, speaking of parallel, uh, Red Hot Ritual. We have Elf Bard. Ooh, gorgeous card. This is Sapphire Priestess. So I saw this card, and I don't know if people run this in decks, but the effect seems really good. It says at the start of your end phase, if your followers attacked at least three times this turn, draw three cards. Drawing three cards is pretty sweet, and she's a, a four, five for four, so her stats are like not bad. I'm just like not sure how much you're doing that with Haven, because Haven, ooh, beautiful. I really, really like Amelia. She's one of my favorite characters. Just, yeah, I, I, I really like Amelia. I used her a lot in uh, digital. She's a little bit different in this, but um, if, if, I guess we could talk about what, what ultra rares that I want. I want Amelia, I want, I want Amelia. Um, any other one, totally fine. I mean, getting Bahamut would be cool, um, but you know me. I want the Swordcraft stuff. Give me the Swordcraft stuff. Um, ooh, we have a Seraph here. This is a key card for a major strategy with Seraph and Aegis. I think they only run like one or two Seraph in, in most of the decks, so you don't really need very many Seraph. Uh, ooh, Reyna. I actually think Reyna is also just incredible. She basically gets all of your Evos back, which is... Really cool. I dig it. Um, ooh, and then we have another uh, gold. We have Azazel, which is also pretty sweet. I think you do run Azazel. In case you were curious and you're like, hey, you're going to be doing updated deck techs or anything for uh, the decks that you've done or, you know, what are you doing? I'm going to be doing deck techs for every single craft. At least that's the plan here. We have Hamza. I was opening a pack um, earlier and it had two Hamzas in it. It was like back to back Hamza. I'm like, what the? The hell's wrong with that pack? Um, all, all Hamza all the time. Yeah, beautiful art. Man, this game, the art is so good. Uh, Beast Caller Aria, great card. We have Vampiric Fortress. You're gonna do the vampire strategy. If you wanna be a vampire too. We have Ephemeral Moon, Orkagia. Yeah, art is so, so, so good. I, I'm such a big fan of this game. Um, yeah. It, it, it's great. I can't wait to, to jam with the new decks. Um, yeah, this is one of the games where I'm actually like, Lily, really, Lily's really great. Um, just really excited to open up all the packs just so I can build all the decks. Here we have Elena's Prayer. Not as good as digital. It's only once per turn. Boo. It was, it's, it's quite good in digital. I mean, there's decks, like eternal format decks that still do Elena builds. Um, I, I know, I, I have them. I, I played them. Uh, mini Soul Devil, Red Hot Bard, we have oh, Red Hot Bard, we have uh, Draco Mancer's Rights, great card, we have uh, Grand Archer Selwyn, I actually think he's pretty good, but um, not really what you want to be doing in Forest right now, and then we have a beautiful Kogia, some decks do run Kogia. Um, Alright, last pack for box one, box one is like average we'll probably get a i would i would guess we get a um legendary in this pack yep because we i think you normally get like five to seven uh what do we get oh let's go all right this is the big big hit for me for this set dark angel olivia one of my favorite characters just in general i love olivia i mean obviously i have a, a figure of her i want to buy the second figure i have the alternate figure for her and i want to i'll just buy the normal figure at some point uh, the same Kaguya. Ooh, another, another legendary. There's a Soul Dealer. Very nice, the Evo version of the Soul Dealer. Oh, hey, look. Here's that Leonidas' Resolve that I talked about. Whenever a Swordcraft follower enters your field, uh, give it plus three, plus three, and rush. That's pretty good. Just plus three, plus three to your whole squad. Um, and so, yeah, that was box one for the video. And like I said, average, like, five to six. We got six here. Uh, though one of them was a parallel, so it's, like, five plus a parallel. Uh, in terms of, like, just the foils we got, or the legendaries, good. Like these are all highly, highly playable in all of the crafts. And you definitely want to get uh, your play set of Livia's. That's, if there's like any card that you get from this set, like at all, for the future, it's Olivia. I mean, there's, there's a bunch of other great ones too, obviously. Um, a lot of a lot of cards from the first set are actually used pretty far out into the future. Uh, I think Bahamut is also just always really good because he's just a great board wipe. Just great at killing dudes. Hey, look, we got the same sleeves. Let me get this in focus. Beautiful. You got a little, you got a little teddy bear there. Um, but I, I think this set and set one are both great. 
if you're like, hey, what set should I buy? Because I'm starting the game. My my vote is on uh, set one because set one just has so many staples that you'll be using for a very very long time. So yeah, set one is is kind of kind of just the the way to go. But set two also has some really really good stuff. Um, like it's got for like Runecraft has Daria, once again one of my favorite characters. But uh, she doesn't really see too much play until a little bit later. Uh, got another Dragoon, uh, Urius, another Leonidas, which is excellent. Uh, Craig, and a Knight. But yeah, Shadowverse. So much fun to open, uh, so much fun to play. I, I really wish it was doing better here in the West. It's doing fine, you know, it's like selling out. Um, like, packs are selling. But I just wish it was like popping off even more because I think the game really, really deserves it. God, the art is so good. Um, and uh, they just had the first Grand Prix of the season in Japan and it had over 2000 people attending. Like that's insane. That's like more than like flesh and blood worlds, right? Like that's nuts. This game is so popular in Japan and I really, really hope it, it gets to that level here in uh, here in the West. Um, I, I just, it's just, I can't say it enough. It's just, it's just so good. Um, you'll know, by the way, if we get a leader, if the, the card back is white, uh, is a Hamza. Do we have it? This is another double Hamza pack. Every time I get a Hamza, I have to see if it's a double Hamza pack. Adorable, adorable art. We have, uh, Liza and then we have Tiger. So you can kind of like see the, the, the cadence of how the packs go, where it's like uh, you have a couple a couple bronze. So it's like a couple bronze here. And then you have a silver, another silver, a gold. This is kind of a very standard pack. You have a gold. And then you have an Evo card, which could be whatever. So this is a, this is a bronze Evo. And then you have your token. That's like the, the, the standard layout of a pack. So that's how you can get multiple rarities because your Evo card at the end could also be legendary. So you can pull like a regular legendary in the slot and then you can pull like an Evo legendary. And a lot of the times they do like double up like that. Um, you have Elena's Prayer, beautiful. Um, the actual card Elena is also quite good though in digital, I don't know if they, did they make it in Evolve yet? So the cool thing about Shadowverse Evolve is even though we're behind uh, like the English version, is behind the uh, Japanese version. We're, we're catching up, right? They don't have that many sets out. Here's a uh, Crystalia Tia. A good card for your uh, Forest Craft decks. We have Vite. I do think Vite is pretty good. We have your Polyphonic Roar. And then we have Evo and hey look, We have uh, Eve to go with our Tia. Huzzah. Uh, Eve's a 4-4 token that Tia makes. If you played um, Three, the like combo three. Yeah. Yes. I was like, I know it was three, but I didn't know what the word was. Double Hamza pack. Okay, we're seeing these three a lot. Hamza, Necro, Strategy. You see that like back to like back to back quite a bit. Ooh, Surefire Bullet. Once again, staple. You'll definitely want to get play sets of that because a lot of decks will be running the Surefire Bullet. Um and I'm, I think it's also like playable like into the future as well. So that's one of the that's one of the cards from this set that you will definitely want. Uh, we have Radiance Angel Parallel Foil, beautiful. Uh, this one is like I think this is actually fairly playable uh, in in some of the uh, Aegis decks. We have uh, Witch, another super cute multi part experiment. Ooh, Kawi. I I think Kawi's like real good. I, I thought I thought he was pretty good in here's a Thorn Burst. I thought he was really good in digital. I think he's better now because he's got like, just, just got better stats. Like, um, I think in digital he's a seven drop, four, five, and now he's a five drop, five, five with kind of the same ability. He's got ward. And then when he dies, one of your opponents then dies and then you get a heal. It's great. Uh, ooh, we have another a parallel uh, legendary, an SL. <clears throat> SL, I can say it correctly. That one's a Tia. Yo, we got a Amelia as well. Not the fancy ultra rare Amelia, but I'll, I'll take, I'll take. Um, yeah, Amelia's great. Um, yeah, not much else to say. She's great. Um, we have 
Craig. Every time I think of Craig, every time I see Craig, I think of like, it was like a joke song called like Craig Christ. And that I just think of that every single time. I don't, I don't know. That was a very, that was a very basic pack though. Very basic pack. Um, so like in general, what do we want? We want Olivia's. We want Bahamut's. Um, getting Seraph is like not bad. Seraph's not bad. Um, you definitely want at least a couple copies of Seraph. Um, love Anne. I actually think I don't have very many Evo Ands. I think I actually have maybe like one or two. So I really need to pull more Evos. And then we have Soul Dealer. Really, really good. I think Soul Dealer probably makes it into every... I'm trying to think if there's any Abyss deck that you don't run Soul Dealer in right now. And I think you just run it in like every deck. It is just so good. Run it in your aggro decks. Run it in your control decks. Um, yeah, it's great. Ooh, hey, look. We got the besties. We got Anne and uh, Greya. And this is the Evo Anne, which is which is awesome. Like I said, I don't have very many versions of that one, so yeah. Need to need to fill out on those. I definitely don't, so even opening like half a case, definitely don't have a full playset of everything. It was like close-ish. Uh, but I do know that if you open up a full case, you do get like basically like a full playset of every card in the set, plus a little bit more, which is um, awesome actually. I think it's one of the biggest selling points for like opening cases of Shadow vs. Evolve to yourself is that you will just get a full playset of everything that you need, which is just, this is awesome. Um, I'm a big, big fan of that, especially after opening, like spending more money on like flesh and blood and then not getting a full playset is just brutal. And I know everyone's like, you know, buy singles and yeah. Ooh, yo, Sky Knights assemble. We got Albert. Love Albert, dude. He's awesome. Um, yeah, so everyone's just, you know, obviously buy singles, but for something like Shadowverse Evolve, hey, if you like opening packs, you can spend $700 to $900 or whatever, buy a case, and then you get all the cards anyway. You also get a couple chase hits, and um, yeah, you can either sell your excess cards, trade them to friends, help grow your community. Ooh, we got an Evo uh, Rea, Arena. Um, I think it's just great. Yeah, so... That, that was sweet. How many L's did we get in that, that box? Just curious. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Yeah, because the first one we had six. This one had seven? Holy crap. Yeah, that one, that one had quite quite a bit, I think. Because, yeah, this is the first box, right? The first box we had six. Yeah, we got, we got a decent amount. That was a decent amount. Um, I think we just got a lot of... Uh, I well, we just got two. Anyway, let's move on to box number three. Um, we need to get some more Bahamuts, and I, I would I would like some more Olivias as well. Please, unt, thank you. Um, and how about maybe maybe some of the other sleeves? Maybe maybe some of the other sleeves. Yo, let's go. We got them. Yep, this is the this is the leader that I want because she's the Swordcraft leader. So obviously, that's the one that I want. Um, we'll keep a couple of these boxes just, uh, just for like background display needs. If I want to, if I want to flesh out my Shadowverse Evolve background. Um, but yeah, how you doing? How, how's, how's your pack cracking? Opening new packs? Just the watching vicariously. Uh, that's cool too. I dig it. Uh, we have another Soul Dealer. That is great. Uh, Lily. Uh, Rhyme Wind is a decent, decent card in, um, in Rune. Yeah. There, there's like, this is the other thing that I really like about Shadowverse is at least so far, I don't have a ton of intimate knowledge of like, you know, set three, four, five, six. Um, but what I like so far is that every single set so far feels like every, every class gets something sweet and things change up quite a bit, except for maybe Force for this one. We have a, a Foil Draconic or more. Um, Forest does get some stuff, but not, not a, not a ton of stuff. Um, and, and to be completely honest, I'm not sure how good Forest is like currently, but I think it's better. In fact, uh, I think I saw like the breakdown for the, for the Grand Prix. And I think Sword was actually at the bottom of the list, which is kind of funny because Sword is like so good in the first couple sets. Um, and it is my, is my number one, my number one, uh, craft. Though I'm a big fan of Abyss and Dragon as well. And to be honest, I really love Rune too. Um, 
I like I really like them all. In fact, I like them all. I think Forest might be my least favorite. Hey, we got another Radiance Angel, though this is the Evo version. All right. Yeah. We'll take that. Uh, we got Rites, uh, Vite, uh, Super Q Anne, Dragon Tame more, and uh, no, there we go. There we go. But I'm I'm very curious. So basically, <laughs> I was like, I'm curious what um, the kind of breakdowns of like the chase hits are um, that that other people are pulling. Because, like I said, I would very much like to get uh, uh, Swordcraft and then Amelia. The thing is with with um, Amelia is that she is a main deck card, so I, I do kind of need like three three of her. We have Sun Oracle Pascal, absolutely gorgeous gorgeous artwork on this card. Cool card too, actually. Um, really good for those uh, like dirt decks. So we have a Polyphonic Roar. Ooh, Sky Knights Assemble. We haven't gotten any regular Alberts though. They've all been, right? They've, they've all been just the Evo Alberts. Yo, where, where are my regular Alberts at? We've only got like one Bahamut. All right, so this this box, we're, we're, we're hoping for any Bahamut, but like regular Bahamut mostly, but any Bahamut plus like Evo Albert or non-Evo non -Evo Albert. That's what uh, that's what we're gunning for. Ooh, hey look, another Amelia, beautiful. Um, yeah, I mean, and, and also like Olivia, right? Because like we'll always take more Olivias. It's such a good card, man. Like five, five for five. That like on enter you can choose two of the following, and it's like what draw a card. Your opponent discards a card. Um, get a empty. You get a play point back. Uh, or you gain life. I think those are the, the four options. And like base level, you drawing a card and your opponent discarding a card is just like crazy, right? It's just so good. Ooh, here we go. This is one of the most important cards from the set. This is Heavenly Aegis. He's a he's a house. This card is disgusting. That card is, is very good. Um, Hey, we got Leonidas in the same pack. That's actually pretty funny. Yo, we got both. We got both Aegis back to back in the same pack. We have uh, the regular Aegis and then the Evo version. And card is insane. He's just a big dumb dude, but he's like a big dumb unkillable dude that will also kill your opponent. Because he's an 8-8 eight, eight with aura, which means he can't be targeted by effects. And it says this card can't be destroyed by abilities. It can still be destroyed by ability damage. And then when you Evo him, either for two points or discarding three cards, uh, it becomes a 10-10, also with Aura, and it says on Evolve for the rest of this turn and during each opponent's next turn, this follower can't take damage, and it can't be destroyed by abilities. What? <laughs> what? Just actually what? Um, yeah, and then you can give it ward. Um, so there, there, there are ways to give that ward, and uh, you just have a free turn where your opponent can't like do anything to you. Uh, it is very good. It is very good. Uh, and like I said, it is a meta defining card. Yeah, dragon. Um, I will definitely be building an Aegis uh, Haven deck. And yeah, it's, it's it's also one of those, it's really good. And it's like a very like heavy control deck. So if you like control, that's going to be the deck for you. But it's also like most control decks, especially most good control decks. It is not easy to pilot. We have uh, Evo Selwyn, pretty cool. Um, so if you like the challenge, if you like, you know, hey, this is a really tough deck to build, or a tough deck to pilot. To build, it's, you know, there, there's lists. You'll, you'll be able to find a list out there. Uh, Radiance Angel, Saffron, like Radiance Angel sometimes makes it into that list. And we have beautiful, beautiful White Paladin, big fan. We have an Evo Vite and a Hola Tiger. You've been down so long in the Midnight Sea. I'm not going to sing anymore, I'm sorry. Um... Wild Dragon Newt. It's interesting seeing cards that I, I definitely remember what they do in digital, and they do not do the same thing. Uh, we have Prayer and Siegfried. Like, um, there's like the Bone Chimera. Does not do what Bone Chimera does in digital, because I think Bone Chimera in digital just spits out a bunch of like one ones, like he just makes little skeleton tokens. 
And then this one, he has Necro Charge, seven, Bane, and Rush. And then you mill three when you play him. Like, this is, this is a little bit different than spitting out some dudes. Uh, Beast Caller's Aria, very good. Not a two drop anymore, but still very good. Uh, Simulacrum, under costed card that punches. All right, so well, the battery, uh, well, it didn't die, just had a, had a cycle. So if I pull anything super spicy from this, uh, I totally didn't, uh, didn't like fudge it or whatever. Anyway, this is a white wolf of Elderwood uh, or Eldwood. Uh, you know, it's a, uh, it's a forest card. It, that was a very, actually, that was a very heavy forest pack. Uh, I forgot what I was saying. I do remember singing Holy Tiger in, in the tune of Holy Diver. Anyway, this is the last pack for box three. We have one more box to go through. Um, was I... I don't remember. So we have uh, Kaiza, does not make an immortal carrot. Uh, Kakaitis. Ooh, Azazel. What's up, homie? And then we have Soul Collector and then an Eve. Uh, I think we did not get as many... Well, how many legendaries did we get from this box? I think we got six here. That's not bad. I think the last box we had the, we had the Albert on there. And then we got... Just another Evo Albert. Oh no, we have like no regular Alberts. They're just all Evo Alberts. All right. Well, like I said, the boxes, the, the case should like even out and we should get at least a play set of every single card, including all the legendaries, um, Evo versions, all that kind of good stuff. Not guaranteed a very many like, you know, parallel foils or whatever, but you know, that's what you would chase, right? You chase like the parallel foils or you chase like the, um, the ultra rares or the uh, uh, leaders. Hey, look, two and two, let's go. And we're just gonna take these packs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this box as well for background display purposes. Look at that, look at that Bahamut. Even though he refuses to show up in these packs, we do, we do got the big boy, big boy Bahamut. How do you say it? How do, uh, and not like, how do you say it as in what is the correct way? How do you say it, dear viewer? Do you say Bahamut? Bahamut? Yo, Sk Sky Knights, assemble. We have, finally, we have a regular version of Albert. I won so many games playing Albert in, uh, in digital. Like, a lot. Uh, though he doesn't become a 5-7 a in this one. He still stays a 3-5, but he can still punch your opponent twice, which is which is not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, Kaiza, Kakaitis, Polyphonic Roar, not as good. And then we have Knight. Yeah, the boxes are pretty good. Um, we need to hit a Ultra Rare at some, at some point. So let's see. Ooh, we have a, we have a Cynthia here. Elf Knight Cynthia Parallel. Uh, we have Lily. I do spy Amelia Silver Paladin. Beautiful. Is this one that has... So I've... Uh, since I've... I've been a huge fan of Shadowverse and side game stuff for a very long time. Most of the decor in the studio here... Ooh, look at this. Look at this Vite. I've, I've had, like, figures from um, side games properties in the studio just for, you know, a very long time. But I've recently started to pick up uh, Shadowverse Evolve and I think it's uh, Rage of Bahamut adjacent and um, Grand Blue Fantasy, like other stuff like uh, tapestries and, and that kind of stuff, just to, just to add a little bit of, um, you know, more, more fandom appreciation for the stuff. So I have like a, um, a Forte, I have like a Forte tapestry over there. Looks very good. It's actually the same art as the uh, Forte leader that they're going to be doing in the new set, which I think is uh, really, really cool. The new Japanese set. Eventually we'll we'll get it here in English. Uh, ooh, yo, we got a parallel Imperial Dragoon. Nice, this is the Evo version. You can also get a... Um, he's one of the ones that you can get the Ultra Rare version of, which is like, it's pretty cool. Wait, I just put that gold in the, in the bronze pile. Um... Yeah, but, but like I said, we're, we're here for the sword stuff, so give us Amelia, give us uh, Prim, and uh, we'll, we'll be happy. No one no one needs to get hurt. I'm not saying anyone is, just saying no one needs to get hurt. Uh, we have Soul Collector uh, Megalorca. 
Um, the what's her face makes the Mega Lorca, the gold uh, Dragoncraft card. Poseidon, Neptune, one of those, one of the, one of the watery sounding uh, names. Uh, Gino, Urius, Selwyn. That was a very like bland pack. Oh hey, shout out to the person who was like, I want the 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 chest stuff. We have some chest stuff in set two. Not a lot of chest stuff. Some some chest stuff. Uh, and as, as we go forward, we'll start actually seeing some of the um, uh, portal craft stuff make its way into random various crafts. So portal craft doesn't have its own craft in Evolve, but what they did is they put the portal craft characters and kind of split them between the other crafts. So you can get like portal craft characters um, like in Sword and Forest and like I think Spinaria is Forest. Uh, armor. Armor, armor. We have a whole souled swing. Um, Kaguya. Beautiful. I think Kaguya is. I think. Is Kaguya one of the. I think Kaguya might be one of the um, ultra rares that you can get. Which is kind of funny because it's a gold and not a legendary. I think it's Kaguya, right? Like, for. Uh, for Haven. Hmm. Yeah, for Haven. Yeah, they're. Yeah. It would have been cool to do Seraph. It would have been cool to have a, um, like an Ultra Seraph. Ooh, we have a White Paladin. I guess, I guess not all of the um, Ultra Rares are legendaries because uh, Amelia is also gold. So, yeah, okay. I definitely want the fancy version of Amelia, though. Please, please and thank you. Please and thank you. Please. Pretty good. Got a couple more packs here, and that is it for these four Boxerinos. And then we will have, in a, in a couple days or so, we'll have another... Ooh! Yo, this is our first Vania. I, I could tell it's Vania because it's the it's the two drop. Um, yo, I, I, I really like Vania. She's she's great. Uh, fan favorite character. And also, also this was a really... So some, some packs are just real stacked. We have Vania, we have Anne... And then we have Bahamut. Though, this is just a, an Evo version of Bahamut. Dude, are we going to open four boxes with no regular Bahamuts? That's wild. That is wild. Hey, I'll, I'll, take, a, I'll take a regular Bahamut. Um, or, a, or a, you know, Libya. We got uh, alternate Kaiza. Or not alternate, but just like, you know, the, the foil Kaiza. Uh, beautiful Rhyme Wind. All right, I got two more packs. Come on, come on. Let's go, Let, let's get a, well, not a leader. Once again, you'll know it's a leader if there's a white card. Um, and maybe we'll get the the ultra rare. We have uh, Sim, Sim, Simulcrum. We have uh, Obo Leonidas, who we'll be playing a lot of. Last pack, come on, come on, you can do it, pack. You can do it. I believe in you. I believe in you. We have Sledgehammer, Exorcist, Dragon Tamer, Samurai. Oh, we fi we finally got we finally got a Bahamut. Let's go. We got a fi regular Bahamut. Great. I will take that. So regular Bahamut, Vite, Azazel. Hey, look, our first and only Daria in today's video. That's actually actually kind of wild do very much like daria if you watch my first like i guess it's technically not my first shadow vs all video but the, the first video for the english version i just said how much i love daria and i gave away a daria daria playmat she definitely is one of my favorites um where did, how many do we get in this box six or seven something like that well thank you for watching um i hope to get uh, i only got one olivia too all right, so we're in the, in the next four boxes. We're hoping for more Bahamuts. Definitely hoping for more Olivias. And, uh, well, just, just give me more Olivias, all right? I, I need them. I need them. Thanks for watching, everyone. And uh, we'll see you next time.